Let's review that communication model now. This model helps us examine our communications for whatever tools, media, messages, and audiences we may have. So here it is, hopefully it looks a little familiar, where we have our message sender here and a message receiver here. You can see how for international marketing, we place extra emphasis on these spheres to show how two clusters of culture underlie this communication situation. So that cultural context brings all the knowledge, assumptions, tools, norms, practices, ideas, and other parts of that culture into the way messages are made, shaped, and interpreted. So first we have the source or sender of the message. So this is the entity that originates the message. The message must then be encoded. So the process of encoding is how we bring that sender's thoughts to life through words, images, sounds, and other symbols. So you can see how it may be an image like a green check mark here, where it and a little chime can signal success. Or for example, a conference that is intentional at offering cards like these for those who observe Shabbat and do not want to be using uh, things that have the RFID portal uh, tech do not have to do that. And that shows and conveys a particular intention on VidCons and how they want to include different people. So the sender encodes the message as part of what's called the message channel. The message channel lets the messages be made available to receivers. So it can be an audio clip sent online, how we have ad spaces on the back of a truck, a presentation, and of course all our classic things like TV ads, banner ads, email surveys, and so on. So anything that's used to transmit that message. So now we have the receiver, where the receiver then may receive the message where they sense and take it in, and then they try to decode the message where they make sense of the message. But all is not always as it appears. So the message process is tricky because at any point there is noise. noise. Any kinds of distractions that reduce communication's effectiveness. So it's not just literal audio noise that we hear, but anything that hinders or distorts the message. So it could be somewhat less familiar with the language they're using. It could be that they're using a symbol that doesn't mean much to another culture, such as how the idea of a red poppy flower or an animal such as the giant panda have different messages and different meanings to different audiences. You can see here how the center said, messages are fun. The receiver had to be looking at a tea kettle and had tea time on the brain, so heard and said, muffins and a bun? It may not have even caught that smiley intent. So here it is again, big idea for you is that you can use it to strengthen your planning and figure out problems. So that's our quick review on the communication model. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Email me at lllouis at laverne.edu and hope you're doing great. And next, item is going to be about um, some big ideas to international marketing, promotions, and a few activities for you to get your hands in.